Okay, this lesson is on odd and even functions, um, and I've written up here or neither, because if a function is neither odd nor even, um, then we would consider that neither. So it doesn't have to be odd or doesn't have to be even. So this first example that I've written up here is an example of an even function. Let's write even function. And what makes this an even function is if I draw a line down the y-axis and that is my line of symmetry. So if I'm able to draw this line down the y-axis and then fold it on the y-axis, the left side of the function would exactly match the right side of the function. And if that occurs, by definition, that's an even function. Let's look at the second one that we have down here. Here's my line of symmetry right here. But you can see if I folded the left side over to the right side, they're not going to line up because this piece over here, well, that would be down here. So this is not an even function. So we've ruled out it being an even function. So let's see if it's an odd function. To be an odd function, there's my origin right there. And to be an odd function, it has what we call rotational symmetry. So rotational symmetry about the origin. So I like to think of this uh, remember pinwheels you made when you were a little kid, kind of like a pinwheel? So if this is the piece right here, and this is the piece right here, and I put my little pin right in the center, and if it rotated around 180 degrees, the left hand would then match up with the right hand side. And if we do that, that makes it an odd function. Okay, before we move into the next part of looking at the actual equation. Let me show you something here. So if we take if we take and erase some of this stuff. Alright, so erase. Let's see. Let's erase this stuff here. And all of this stuff. All right, so here's another way to tell if you have an even function. I know this is really hard to read, so we'll just say that that represents 6, and then we'll say that represents negative 6. Okay, so to be an even function, this means if I put 6 into the function, and we put in 6, and Let's just say we get out 2, 4. Let's just say we get out 8. I don't really know what the parabola is there. So let's say we put in 6 and we get out 8. Then, to be an even function, if I put in the opposite of 6, which you know is negative 6, I should also get out 8. Let's see if that happens. I put in negative 6, and up there I get 8. So that's also a definition of an even function. To be an odd function, it does something kind of similar, but kind of different. Oops, I'll do that. So let's pick, um, let's pretend 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's 4, 1, 2, 3, and that's negative 4. OK, so to be an odd function, an odd function says, if I put in 4 and I get out, I don't know what I get out there, let's just say I get out 2, then if I put in the opposite of 4, which is negative 4, I should get out the opposite of my output, which is negative 2. Let's see if that works. I put in 4 and I get out 2. Good. I put in negative 4 and I get out negative 2. So there's another way that you can tell that's an odd function. All right, which leads us up to the next, um, the next part of determining if something is an even or an odd function, and that's by looking at the equation. So let's look at number one here a minute. 
f of x equals negative 3x. So you could do the thing that I just said. You could let f of 2, we're going to put in 2. It doesn't have to be 2. You can put in whatever you want. So this is negative 3 times 2, and then I get negative 6. So now I want to put in the opposite of that, which is negative 2. So I have negative 3 times negative 2 gives me negative 6. So is this an even or is this an odd function? So I put in 2, I get out negative 6, so far so good. I put in the opposite of 2, I get out the opposite of, oops, that should be positive 6, there we go. I put in the opposite of 2, which is negative 2. I get out the opposite of negative 6, which is positive 6. So that makes that one an odd function. Another way to tell is to look at the powers here. So the power, oh, the power is missing here. If it's not there, it's that invisible one, right? So to look at the powers, if all the powers are odd, then it's an odd function. If all the powers are even, it's an even function. Well, I only have one variable here, and it has a it has a power of 1, so that means this is an odd function. So two different ways to tell this is an odd function. Let's go ahead and do number 2 here. So this one is f of x equals negative x to the 6th plus 5x squared. I'll leave this up to you to go ahead and put in 2 and see what you get. Put in negative 2 and see what you get and determine if it's odd or if it's even. Um, but one thing I'm going to do with you is look at the powers. So I've got a 6 and I've got a 2. Both of those are even powers. So this is an even function. And then you could prove it to yourself also by doing that. All right, one last thing that we want to look at here are tables. All right, so tables. Here's the first one right here. Is this odd, even, or neither? So let's try. Let's look at when I put in 1. So when I put in 1, it looks like I get out 3. But what happens when I put in the opposite of 1? I get out 3. Oh, the same thing. That means that one is even. Let's look at the second one down here. That was number 1. Let's look at number 2. And let's look at if I put in, uh, let's see, we can use 1 again. If I put in 1, it looks like I get out 3. And if I put in the opposite of 1, which is negative 1, let's see what I get out. Oop, I get out negative 3. So if I put in 1, I get out 3. If I put in the opposite of 1, I get out the opposite of 3. That makes that an odd function. So this is the end of the video lesson on even and odd functions.